Sid Rao Aim Star. This is gonna be take two of the V blog that I was I said I was gonna to do today. Um yeah, the doing V blog ain't a, ain't is not easy, I can tell you that. You have to think on your feet and you know, for me I just I I have so much to say and uh it's good that I was able to tell my story to some of the my friends today, so it's it's not fresh off my feet, so I'm able to get my thoughts together. But uh, let's see. Um, well, today I just I, I was able to meet uh, TSM and Curse at the Snapdragon uh, booth or E3. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, the E3 event is going on this week for the for two more days. It started yesterday, and they did some press conference on Monday. But they let they let people in during uh, they started letting people in today and for the next two days, and uh, I wouldn't have uh, gone here if uh, if Jose Hernandez and uh, didn't hit me up and said he was coming down from Texas. Uh, he got free uh, tickets to uh, the E three event and he somehow won it from a Halo. Uh, event dealing with American Express, like you gotta had a, you had to have an American Express card, and he like competed or something like that. You can ask him about it, but uh, he won E three tickets, and uh, he told me that he was gonna come down like a month or two ago, and gave me a call on Sunday, letting letting me know that he's gonna come down, and uh, wouldn't have gone out there if it wasn't for him. So that was pretty cool. Um, they actually came down. Uh, well, we actually hung out yesterday, um, showed them around L.A. They haven't been to L.A., so I got to show them Venice Beach and Santa Monica Pier and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Um, well, uh, I, uh, as far as <laughs> tell um, how my day went, I, I actually took a lot of pictures, so I went through the pictures. If I went through the pictures, um, you would uh, be able to. I would be able to tell my story a lot easier. Remember, um, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually uh, at a. I called uh, Jose when he was he was at the event. He got a hotel, and near the Staples Center or at the near the Staples Center it was uh, called the, the the Universal something some nice um, hotel apparently that's 45 minutes away from the convention center so he uh, he tr that's he went to the convention center and uh, I texted him to see if when TSM was going to be out uh, to, to do the signing and it was, apparently they're gonna be out there around four, so I left my house around three. I uh, I was thinking about I, I was planning on taking the metro there and call the operator to uh, to see how they get there. And uh, the the operator was pretty uh, pretty good actually. Uh, I was impressed by um, how well they knew like the times and were able to get you to one spot or like I told my destination what time I wanted to get there at, and they were able they were able to. Tell me. Yeah, camera's out of focus, huh? Let's see. If I if I make it smaller, I, I gotta make it smaller. Yeah, I was impressed with the operator. I was impressed with the operator and um, with you know how well they were giving me my uh, like a, a good uh, ETA of how of how long it would take for me to get there from where I for from like the uh, the desk from where I was leaving. So I thought that was really impressive. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> anyways, uh, uh, I I was actually uh not uh like things are, like 
things around the house weren't like really um, working out for me. Like I wanted to ride my bike there because I needed to get to the bus stop on time. So uh, I was like actually getting a lot of pretty unmotivated because uh, um, I knew I, I would miss the bus and I would and I felt like I would miss the event if um, they were doing the signing at four or whatever. So I, I don't know. I just got really unmotivated and I pretty much uh, decided that I wasn't going to go and I stayed home. But uh, turned on my computer and uh, went on Facebook and saw a vlog that uh, Reginald put out saying that the, they're going to be there. Um, duh. He was like he was given a vlog of his day and at the time it, w um, it was like 6 a.m. in the morning and he was just saying how he was taking the airport there and he ended up giving times out for um, when their booth or we're going to do signing and it said from 4 to four, uh, 545 the quantum booth wasn't, wasn't going to be inside E3 so anyone without a badge was able to check him out so I wanted to take the opportunity to go uh, get some, sign some uh, signature from some of the players that I look up to yeah I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan and play a lot of League of Legends so you guys probably know that people who know I'm sorry um, but yeah anyways that motivated me that motivated me to uh, g uh, get to uh, take take my original plan um, uh, I took the Metro down to uh, the Staples Center uh, once before for an X game event so I kind of knew how to do it again so uh, I, I decided to commit with that and I actually skated to uh, Imperial and La Cienega from uh, from where I live, which is in you know in Hawthorne, California, um, and uh, that's uh, now we, we can go through the pictures and you guys would uh, understand where the story left off. Um, this is me actually uh, reaching, uh, standing in line to buy my metro ticket. I'm for some <laughs> um, I'm actually in the market for uh, buying some cologne, and this person in front of me uh, had this really good smell, and I. You know, I wanted that. I figure I asked him what cologne he had, and uh, so I did. And uh, he, 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 he probably thought, uh, he probably felt complimented that I asked him what cologne he, he used. So uh, I asked him, he sh it, it's apparently by Z Z uh, Zara or Zagra. So I'm definitely beginning some Zagra cologne, that's for sure. Um, this is uh, the picture of uh, the map. This is where I got on. I got on the. On the I got on the Aviation LAX uh, Metro, apparently not. It's uh, where Imperial is, actually, it's in Aviation. I thought it was Las Cienega, so I guess it's Aviation. And the main thing, for those of you who hasn't taken the Metro line, um, it's pretty simple. If you live in LA um, and visiting LA and want to get down, down to downtown LA near the Staples Center, you pretty much can take the green line from where you are or one of these lines. but. Mostly, if you live around Redondo Beach, El Segundo area, or if you're around that area, you would take one of uh, one of these stops and take it to the Blue Line, and the main the main station there is Willowbrook, and you would take that up to Pico's uh, um, station and get off, and yeah, pretty simple, pretty fast and simple, and I only paid two dollars and fifty cents. That's that's I I thought that was super amazing. Like people would. People who like live in LA and work downtown would sit in traffic for a while. I don't know how. It was a it was a Monday, so it was a Monday around three. So I guess I guess it wouldn't be that busy, but um, it was pretty fast. And apparently the the metros pick you up every fifteen minutes. So yeah, if you're looking to travel, dude, I really recommend the metro line. You, um, I'm gonna research more different uh, areas I can uh, travel to for sure. Like you can get to USC if you ever needed to get to USC. But anyways, this is me taking a picture behind me. You know, I like taking pictures. Uh, I actually took another one with my Timo hat. Thought I had to. This guy's picking his nose, huh? <laughs> um, this is me inside. This is a picture inside. Uh, I took a picture behind me. I took one be uh, in front of me and took one behind me. This I actually like the way this picture uh, turned out. I'll lower this a little bit more. I really like the way this picture turned out because uh, it gets me, you know, adds flavor to the picture, you know, kind of creepy. <laughs> um, just a random picture, more pictures of different uh, stops on the way on the freeway. This is the 405 freeway, by the way. 
Or no, the 110, excuse me. No, 105, what am I saying? I, at least I know what I'm talking, at least I know what I'm talking about. Or, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, random picture. Uh, I actually took a picture of this guy because, as you can see, he has like a blind stick. And uh, I was just really interesting seeing, you know, um, I was just really interested in this person because he was blind and, you know, when I feel like blind people have heightened, heightened senses and I'm, I'm pretty sure he was knew his surroundings just from like noise and stuff so I'm sure he's pretty good at echolocation and I don't know I was just really interested and I actually kind of wanted to talk to him and there was an open seat for me that I could have gone and maybe uh, interviewed him to be like a journalist you know to uh, get his story but it would have been cool just for just you know just to hear a story but uh I didn't commit didn't didn't have the balls I should have though um some more random pictures uh this is actually when we get off uh I went to Will's birth station this is Will's birth and the the people that uh that I asked are the the man that I asked about the cologne hit him and I would presume his girlfriend or his wife or some maybe his daughter even uh, I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, uh, I couldn't decide uh, what it was, <laughs> but um, they they were the one that took this picture, and you know they were friendly people. So I asked them. They seemed pretty friendly. Um, I actually have a video up before this. Uh, before this picture, uh, you probably get a perspective of of what it's like to uh, at Will's birth uh, station. Let's see. Video. Oh, it should be right here. There you go. This is Will Brook Station. About to hop on the line to downtown LA. Pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta hurry before I miss my bus. I don't wanna miss the bus. of the railroad. This is the blue line that we took. I think it's called the blue line. My short-term memory is not good. Um, this guy seemed... This, I saw this guy on the way into... on the way on the bus. He had like an army shirt on. He, he was pretty... I would say he's pretty tough. Pretty macho kind of dude. I took a picture of this hair because I was interested in her hair. I thought it was pretty crazy. Um, took a picture of a random marijuana shot. Yeah, thought it would, I thought it would be funny. <laughs> um, actually, the reason I took this picture is I asked this guy for directions to, to make sure where I got off was the correct spot. I, I he seemed like the type that knew uh, LA. I, you know, I asked him if he was if he knew LA pretty well, and you know, he he did, and he seemed you know, I, and I profiled him. Like he just seemed like. He, he, he was old, so if he was from around the area, he would definitely know the area pretty well. So I figured he would know. And this guy uh, actually asked him uh, directions after I asked him. And 
he's uh he actually got on the wrong bus going the opposite right he was supposed to go the other way so good thing uh <laughs> he asked him so but yeah that's the picture on that story or that's the story on that picture this is when i got off pico station staples center taking pictures at the event they got a pretty crazy bout for four 10 29 13 huh so I guess uh, PS3 is coming out. PS maybe uh, Xbox or PS4 and Xbox One coming out soon. Staples Center. I gotta cut that nose hair. I noticed that. Um, <laughs> uh, this is some random. This is this wasn't part of the E3 event. There's a lot of people. They were drinking too. I don't know what this what event was, but it was on the way to the Staples Center. Um, this was the corner that I stopped for crossing the street. Um, you know, these people were having these, uh, you know, food court. Seemed pretty, pretty smart for them to sell to some of the people. Pretty cool. They seemed pretty delicious too. This guy actually posed for me, and I was like, "Yeah, posing." So I take a close up. So yeah, dude, cool guy, man. He knows what's up. Photogenic for sure. <laughs> Maybe just likes being on camera. But uh, yeah, this is me getting to the place. Um, I, I couldn't get in. Uh, I called my friend. I, I called my friend from here and to see where the Qualcomm booth was, so I can meet up with get some autographs from the TSM team. Um, I actually got a video that gives you a, give you a little more perspective of what was going on at the time. Is that, uh, everyone's getting wrong videos. Wrong videos. See what I mean by that answer? Now, actually, the funny part is, I've been wanting to cut that nose hair for like the last two days because I noticed it in the morning, but I just you know, got, was lazy, I guess. Ended up biting me in the ass, huh? Because uh, I embarrassed myself on the vlog. <laughs> picture where where I was taking pictures inside yeah some pictures this is inside uh, you didn't have to have a badge around here I don't know if you guys been to the convention center there's stairs that lead to like the main booth um, like past there there's like stairs that lead up to the main exhibit where they would check the, your badges to, for E3 I actually have a video on that I guess we'll check it out video. I am blowing it. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Very exciting. Nice hair. Wish I had my glasses. Badass. More to the left, go in to the left, okay. Excuse me? Do you know where the Quadcom booth is? What? The Quadcom booth? It's gonna be in here if you need a map. Do you, do you need a mirror? It's gonna be in here if you need a map. Dude. And she was wrong! It was no it wasn't in there. Whoa, 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 what's racist, dude? <laughs> Best pickup line ever. Okay. Alright, we'll keep going. Um, well, I eventually got to the Qualcomm booth. 
I think I took one more video. Let's see. I'm interested, actually. No, I didn't. But anyways, I ended up being right next to Staples Center, so. And I and I I went to like the opposite way, where the crowd wasn't thinking that it would be that way, because my friend was giving me directions where I gotta, it's like, make a left from the entrance, and I made a left, but like, it's depending on where you look, a left can be anywhere, so it was I don't know, but I ended up finding it, finding it. Um, this is me standing in line, uh, getting ready. Uh, to, yeah, standing in line so I can get my autograph. They were closing up because they were doing this uh, event at the end after, like around after, like they were doing the sign. They were, they, were, they said that they're gonna do the sign from for another twenty minutes and then go to the the comp the comp the competition for a free phone. Um, they're gonna announce the the event around that time. Um, this is actually Jose, the guy that flew down from Texas. It's pretty cool that I got a picture of him. Uh, shaking Dyrus's Dyrus's hand. He's a Dyrus is a uh, player on TSM and a lot of people. Uh, is is uh, idol to a lot of people, man. He's a he's a good guy. You know, he ran away from home to be a pro gamer, and and, and he's uh, has a lot of success right now. So, uh, mad props to him and mad respect to athletes, man. You gotta give respect to athletes and because you know they're the ones that follow their dreams and it's pretty cool just seeing them. It's it's just pretty cool. Um, yeah, just you know, Darius. <laughs> if you guys don't know Darius, he's uh he's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, uh, I actually got a picture of him showing some emotion to his girlfriend. It's pretty cool. If I made it, if I was taking a video at the time, I probably could have posted uh, a video of uh, them kissing. It would have been probably cool. But I, then I would have been like a paparazzi. I probably am a pro paparazzi right now by taking this picture. But yeah, my friend showing me his uh mouse pad that he got signed by Team Curse. Um, this is uh, actually Travis. If you guys don't know him, he's a no, the he's been a journalist in the esports community and mostly for League of Legends and ha puts out a lot of good content uh, with you know interviews. Start started his own uh, Twitch channel that, that did State of the League where he would uh, have five people, um, five uh, individuals and five athletes, you know, f pro players from the from League of Legends and. Uh, would talk about the you know what they thought about the meta game at the current time. He's been in it for a while, so he's uh, he's he's his he he does good work, man. Mad respect to Travis for sure. It's something that uh, I'm actually you know currently doing myself, you know, by taking all these pictures and um, you know just inter getting interviews. You know, um, it's it's not hard, or it's it's pretty hard just. Uh, to uh, capture the moment at the time and at a at a pretty uh, good manner. Oh, anyways, this is a wild turtle. He's an AD player for TSM. Was able to get a pic picture. Uh, uh, the person that took the picture, I, I obviously had to have someone that took the picture for me. Um, it was a person behind or behind me in line, and uh, she uh, she s decided to uh, take it to the next level and take uh, this take other random pictures man she actually had a pretty nice camera so she probably just felt like it was a good time to take a picture <laughs> anyways uh, this is probably oh this is just like nice close-up X special um, I got a pretty cool close-up of the odd one the infamous odd one yeah the infamous odd one uh, he's a uh, he's a good guy man he uh, puts out legit Commentary uh, t uh, streaming, legit man. He's uh, a lot of people learn from him, most definitely. But uh, that's as you can see the smile. You will. I took uh, two other pictures maybe, and this is his. This is his t uh, camera smile. I don't know if it was for that day, but this you're gonna be seeing the smile a lot. <laughs> I was able to get a picture of the whole team. Uh, that's cool. I got two, but uh. Person, there was a there was a girl that wanted to get a picture of the whole group, and you know it was pretty cool that a, a girl was able to set that up. You know, uh, I don't know why I'm saying girl, but anyways, uh, yeah, it's probably easier for uh, a female to get uh, a group of guys together to take a picture for them. But anyways, I was able to take 
advantage of the moment and uh, she took she she I took the picture for her so she returned a favor and took the picture for me so it was pretty cool that I was able to take a great picture of them and yeah I actually got them to sign a t-shirt of mine my uh actually we'll talk about it now I got them to sign uh, a a a team of t-shirt I got from the world finals and. The, f the funniest part is uh, Dyer's signature. He, he t uh, when he wanted to troll me, this is pretty. I thought it was pretty funny, <laughs> him being the, just being Dyer's, and this is something he would do. But yeah, here's a picture of uh, the team curse. I was able to get liquids. I, I got liquid to sign it, and uh, I thought about it. Like I should, I, it would have been cool if I uh, was able to ask him what the one one twelve meant. So you know, I'll be able to let you guys know if there's any meaning behind that. But uh, maybe next time when I see him, I'll ask him what the one twelve means in his name. But uh, this this was a real honor, by the way. No, well, you know, not only because they're, not only because it was a, more of a special moment for me because of the new player Edward. Uh, he was uh, a player that I actually uh, follow and watch some of his streams when he first started playing uh, Thresh. One of my friends, his name is Danny. Um, he told me to look at, look, uh, look, watch this guy's stream. He's a uh, he's. I play support for League of Legends, so I like watching other supports and seeing how they play the game. And um, this is one of the supports I. I this he plays a really mean Thresh, and he ended up. Uh, going to All Stars for for uh, Europe, so uh, people in the community thought he was. People in the community really liked his playstyle as well, to vote for him to go in the All Stars. I especially uh, liked some of his builds um, that he that he had. So it, that's why it was a, a great, a real treat for me. That's the word, a real treat for me when uh, I got to see him. Yeah, big treat. I got to tell him that uh, I like how he uses uh, a Doran shield on Thresh and he didn't care about wars and I kind of cursed and, and stuff too. I was like, fuck wars and he probably, he, he gave a, a pretty cool smile. I <laughs> uh, was able to, uh, yeah, got a group picture, figure I would. Um, as you can tell, you, dude, Void Boy is probably the coolest person I ever met. He he knows, he knows, he, he really uh, is really cool with the fans and gives his time of day to anyone man he especially at the world uh i noticed this uh when i first met him at uh, the playoff um he like lost his match going into the championship and he was just still in the crowd like after his match he was in the crowd for the fans and still gave out autographs and pictures with a great attitude it, even after he lost you know it just i don't know it just shows uh what kind of character he is um i don't know analyzing this picture more you can I was a little intimidated to put my hand around St. Vicious, you know, but uh, maybe he felt the same way about me, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's why I kind of had a little awkwardness around here. Um, but yeah, uh, pictures, this is, this this was the, the scoreboard for the event. They had 10 people, 10, 10 contestants to race on their, their uh, phones. There's, if you guys don't know what Qualcomm is, it's a processor that they use for smartphones and they were giving out a uh, a phone for Verizon, and the the uh, the person with the best time would uh won. And this is the scoreboard. Uh, my friend Jose ended up getting third, uh, which is uh, which was too bad. You know, he he felt he he really wanted to win, and he had a good shot of winning because his time was like three hundred of a seconds off. And if you watch the video of his uh the race, you can tell that uh. He probably would have won if he gotten the boost at the uh, at the start of the race. You guys would probably understand more what I'm talking about when I show the video. But um, I was able to take a picture of the manager of Dignitas. Uh, this guy's uh, he had he had an accent. I forgot. I don't know what kind of accent he had, but um, uh, you know, he's a manager of Dignitas. That's pretty big, and uh, I really respect the team Dignitas because they have a team for uh, Dota 2. Uh, no other. Like TSM doesn't have a Dota 2 team, nor does uh, Curse. Curse doesn't have a Dota 2 team, so 
it's pretty cool just uh, meeting the Mando from Dignitas and uh, you know I told him I was always a fan I've, I've always been a fan and the guy who took the picture was uh, had a Dignitas sweater I don't know what uh, what he, yeah he, he I didn't recognize him so and I'm not current with the new rosters Team Dignitas has so I wasn't sure if he was a League of Legends player or not but he actually ended up giving me a cool wrist a wristband and I, I, w I really appreciate him giving me a wristband just a, you know a little souvenir Oh yeah, see? It's this face I'm talking about. I had to take a personal picture with the odd one. <laughs> I was able to tell him uh, about my story, how I, was, I got into a solo queue uh, champion select with him. And I, at the time, I had a red ribbon and he like, com I, I like made a comment of how it was an honor to be, to be in his present. And he just responded by uh, saying, um, oh, uh, good to see you. you. You're part of the red ribbon army, you know? That's a, I think a Dragon Ball Z reference, but uh, that was pretty cool. I had told him that story, and he, he really got a kick out of it. Uh, took a, he's a support, so you know. B being a player, you know, just it's a treat getting a picture with other supports. And uh, a picture of uh, Jose's friend, Jesse Lopez. Uh, no, no, Enrique. Garcia, that's his name, Enrique. What am I saying? Why am I saying Jesse Lopez? No, this guy's name Enrique. This guy's a cool guy, man. I got to know him throughout the night. We, uh, you know, towards the end of the night, or after the event, we went to go eat at Tomboy's. We were going to go eat at In-N-Out Burger, but uh, I gave him the option of Tomboy's because we passed by it, and I told him it was known for their chili cheese fries, and that's what sold them. So we ended up going to Tomboy's and feasted there and said In-N-Out. But, uh, uh, yeah, I got to know this guy by uh, throughout the night. Uh, we uh, towards the end of the night, you know, uh, we oh, we we had plans to go to St. Pedro, but we're gonna save that for tomorrow, and we're gonna <coughs> we uh, ended up going to a land center to just uh, get down and dirty on some League of Legends. These guys never been to a land center, so and I knew of one around the area. Luckily, and uh, we went to it. And I never been to a land center. I actually stumbled upon it going to uh, my normal uh, medical marijuana shop actually in, uh, in Torrance in San Sepulveda. You take the 405 all the way to the 110. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty funny how oh what, yeah, yeah, one day I stumbled upon it because I was walking around um, looking for an ATM with my friend and I remember uh, people at the, the club shop saying there's a land center around here and we stumbled upon it and we got the Go, uh, I got to go in back then and talk to the owner and, and see what it was all about and that's why I remembered there was a land center uh, one day at, when uh, you know we were looking for something to, to do and it was awesome that I got to experience landing there uh, we'll, I'll get to the I have pictures and stuff with the land center, center that I'll, I'll be able to get to talk about when we get there uh, this is us just taking pictures of the home but yeah uh, let's see. Let's see. I gotta breathe when I do these vlogs, talking too fast. Yeah, this is a pretty long uh, vlog, but uh, it's almost done. Let's see. This picture of the land center, cyber lab. Um, if you guys Google cyber lab, you'll 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 get the Facebook. Uh, page for the first search and uh, I'll give you the address for it if you guys are ever interested or looking for a land center it's actually, I'm actually I was really surprised to see how many people were there and a lot of people there were playing League of Legends and it was just uh, really cool just to be there and to see that there there are a lot of uh, community out there playing League of Legends and there was, there was uh, Koreans that were sitting behind what the fuck I took a picture of oh. That's a picture of my mom's feet at the wedding, I guess. But anyways, um, there's the front door, you know, rows, rows of uh, desks and computers. Chairs were, the chairs were alright. The computers were, they, I guess they worked. Nothing too fancy. Um, but the the atmosphere is really cool, real cool. Um. Uh, 
Let's see. Here, here's a video of it. Well, this is Cybernet. He's so shy. <laughs> the guy is so cool. When we first got here, he was really nervous to go in. I don't know why. Maybe he was here. Uh, I did smoke him out and we, were, we had some off pills, so maybe he was just really nervous. But uh, uh, that's why uh, I was saying um, he has a really good spirit. So getting to know him throughout the night, I just got to know his personality. And he's, he has a, he is a good hearted, good hearted person for sure. Um. Let's see. So yeah, so being at the Land Center, um, it was just really cool. Like you get, I got really pumped up to play really well. Like I don't know, I used to go to a lot of Land Centers, but not anymore. And I forgot what it was like. And you, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool atmosphere. You know, everyone wants to do good, and uh, it just pumps you up to do really good for some reason. I don't know. It was just really cool. Uh, and it gave me a perspective of, uh, of, uh, of how awesome eSport is, you know, just pretty cool how uh, a lot of people, how, uh, how much eSports have grown and where we are today with eSports. But yeah, I'm, uh, that's the end of the, my experience for today, um. I hope you guys got s enjoyed it, and I had a lot of fun actually uh, doing this video. Um, till maybe till next time.